This week on Scotty's Garage, we're going to get started on our 12s for 2K build. Hey guys and welcome back. Well, you know the story, you know the plan. We're going to try and make this AU Falcon run 12s for under $2,000. So we're going to kick things off by stripping some weight out of it because it needs to be lighter if we're going to make this thing run 12s for under $2,000. So I guess uh, we'll get it down here on the flat and start ripping stuff out. She takes a little while to fire up. I don't know if I should be concerned or not. Right, well, let's start with the easy part, the boot. Um, huh. It do doesn't actually have a keyhole. Uh, must be on the dash. There we go. Right, that's better. Oh, jeez. It doesn't stay up. <laughs> of course it doesn't. All right, so what do we got? Oh, we got a brand new set of King Springs there. Michael did actually mention those. I think he said um, they're lowered springs. And he didn't like how much it came down. Um, I'll have to look them up. But anyway, all right, we'll see if we use those or not. All right, uh, I think I might need to wheel a bin up here and start throwing stuff straight in. Actually, no, I want to weigh everything. That's right, I want to weigh everything. Although some of this stuff may not need to be weighed. I don't need to weigh the junk. Let's weigh the stuff that actually belongs to the car. All right, bin. Here we go. A doll, child shoe, um, some oil or trans fluid, small engine oil. Okay. We'll see what that's about. Garbage bags, window wipes. Yeah, might be useful. All right, oh my God, let's move all the bark. All right. So that's something for the weighing pile, I think. Let's make that the, need to weigh that. All right, spare tire, don't need it. A few moments later. Okay, another jack. Pull the back seat out to get the rest of that out. Alright, door trims. There for weighing. Ugh. 
Okay, back seat. Ew. Alright, driver's seat. Oh. Well, there's a lot of junk in this thing. Alright. I might have to bring the bin down around here. That's for weighing, way, way, not way. The carpet in this thing is, um, yeah, filthy, like human slime level of filth it is uh yeah you would not be licking that all right well if this one uh, attaches and works i'm gonna have to borrow that for uh my one which does not <laughs> yeah okay let's take that off gently interesting little throwbacks that are in here stuff that you would not uh, see in cars anymore like there's little cutouts here for spare change which you can only imagine is supposed to be like you know tens twenties fifties I think I think that's what it's for a spare change holder like who carries spare change anymore not me anytime I get given change I throw it into a little stubby cooler that's in my console and occasionally you know I'll have enough built up to I don't know buy myself a drink or something like that but uh, yeah cashless society is coming I don't like it but uh, kind of I'm as much to blame as anyone oh, that's still Oh, there we go. Cool. Talking about cash. Here's 10 cents. It's filthy. Oh look, the fidget spinner. Remember fidget spinners? They were all the rage at one point, weren't they? <laughs> it barely spins anymore. Wow. Can't, I just can't believe people paid money for these. Boot pack. Oh wow, that's how we get to the the shocks. I've got to replace the rear shocks because they do not um, absorb anything at the moment. They, uh, well actually they absorb everything would be the apt description. It just bounces up and down. Yeah, shocks don't work. Drag them through.
Console. Oh wow, a ban bonanza. What do we got here? 25 cents. Sorry, 30 cents. A key. And a Victorian learner's permit. Okay. <laughs> Someone's license. Okay. Interesting. I guess they didn't need that anymore. Wow, this thing is so filthy. Oh my god. It's so gross. Oh, wow. Go away, Mozzie. Where'd you come from? Alright. I guess we can get this carpet out now. Ugh. Right, here. right. well we're about halfway through stripping the AU and of course the battery's going flat on the camera and I've left the charger at work. <sighs> this is my life. Who am I kidding? I love this. This is fun. Anyway, we've got a big pile of stuff out of the car there already. But, um, but yeah. I'm going to have to do a running to work, which is a two-hour turnaround time. And come back to this probably tomorrow sometime. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's day two of a four-day weekend for me, and I need to get stuff done. So if it means spending two hours going to work and back, so be it. But, yeah, we're making progress. All right. I will check back with you tomorrow. So here we are, back again, picking up where we left off. Um, late start today because I was in Alex duties this morning. So where were we? Uh, cleaning out the boot, cleaning out the interior, get that carpet out. All right, camera's fully charged, so let's just get into it. Okay.
All right. Another dollar. It is too. It's not the same dollar. No. Um, double rich. Okay. All right. I think we need some vacuuming in here. Good. Oh wow. Two dollars. Woohoo. Wow. I can go buy myself a ice cream. I think I'm gonna have to go the dry ice treatment in here. There's a lot of sound deadening. I reckon there's 10 kilos of sound deadening in this thing. Hmm. We'll have to consider that. Right, so far I've found about $5.10, so I've had a win there. And we've got pretty much all the easy stuff out. So from here on it's like sound deadening, speakers, so it's got rear speakers, all these seat belts will have to come out, but um, I should have grabbed the tool at the workshop when I went back yesterday for the battery charger. I forgot to grab it, but anyway, I'll bring it home during the week. And we can get all these, uh, we'll leave this seat belt in for the time being. And I will put the driver's seat back in for the time being. But long term I will probably replace it and put a harness in this thing at some stage. Just because it's not part of the budget. So and it'll be safer doing that than using the factory seat. But for the meantime, yeah, I'll leave that side alone. I'll take all these, take all the door speakers because they weigh the dash i'm gonna have to get into at some point there's a lot there and there's a lot of weight to be had there and of course if i take the dash out then i lose the dash mat don't i that'll be a shame i won't have a dash mat to attack me that's all right we'll take the airbags all that sort of stuff but for the moment i'm gonna do up the back here, grab my little C-Chrome Nano kit. What do we got there? It looks like a 5mm. Is that that one? You know what? I don't need you. Do you like my knife? It's a crescent knife. I bought it from Norva Tools. Crescent as in the company that makes the spanners. Crescent wrenches. Yeah, three and a half inch blade, quite a handy little thing and it's really sharp. You saw it go through that carpet. Anyway, all right, speakers, they'll weigh a bit. Let's get them. <coughs>
getting there. Come and have a look at this rust. Right, um, so check this out. This is the hinge pocket where the boot hinge goes in. The boot hinge bolts in from the other, well, bolts in there, but the hinge is on the other side. But all leaves and stuff gather in there and uh, it's rusted out. And it's doing the same on this side. Look at it. I can see daylight there. So I don't know about you, but that seems like a bit of a design flaw to me. I'd have to check on my AU to see if uh, something similar is going on there. But um, yeah, that is not great. Just as well we're turning this thing into a lightweight race car then. Go away, noisy bird. Right, well, slowly but surely we're getting this stuff all out. It's hard to believe this great pile of crap came out of this car. But yep, she's, uh, she's mostly there. Obviously we've still got the sound deadening to do and some of the dash stuff. But door trims are all gone, speakers are all gone. Everything except the seat belts basically and this tow bar. Which we've got to pull out as well. But, what do you reckon? 140 kilos? I don't know, we'll weigh it in the morning. The light is starting to go away from us right now, so I think we'll uh, weigh that in the morning. We'll get the tow bar out now, try and get that out before it goes full dark. And yeah, let's see what it all weighs, see how much we should have gained. So every 50 kilos thereabouts is a tenth of a second. So if we pull 150 kilos out, there's three tenths of a second straight up. So. It all helps. Right, so we've taken a fair chunk of weight out of the car and it's fought us every step of the way, which is, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a mission. But it's, uh, it's so much lighter now that it's sitting up like a four-wheel drive in the rear. So we're gonna have to change those rear springs, I think, to the ones that came in the boot. I think they're lowered springs, so that'll help it. But I guess while it's sitting up like a four-wheel drive, let's uh, take advantage of that and cut the exhaust out. That'll save some weight as well. And then we can weigh everything. I think we're at that point. So, I mean, there is still more to come out of the car, but let's, uh, let's do an initial weight, see how much we've taken out of it, but let's cut this exhaust out while we've got the chance. Actually, I'm gonna see if we can remove this exhaust without resorting to too much cutting. We'll see how we go. Ugh, let's go from the back of the cat. Of course it's a 14, isn't it? Alright. Okay. That's off the back of the cat. Beautiful. That was easy. So the exhaust at the back here is pretty cooked. I mean, it's all rusted out all along there. But um, I think that might be the easiest exhaust removal I've ever had at ground level. 
they are notorious for being difficult to remove when you're at uh, when you're on the ground but yeah that's off now it's time to see what everything weighs so what I'm going to do is I've got some scales here um, a lot of it's not going to sit on the scales very well so I'm just going to stand on it holding it and yell out some weights to my daughter who's behind the camera Hello. so <laughs> so anyway we'll do that I'm not going to make you sit through all this we're just going to speed run through it and then we'll give you the weight at the end all right here we go Right, well, we've made an excellent start to the car and we've removed 174.9 kilograms from the car. And yes, that includes the spare and it includes the tow bar and I've calculated for a passenger seat. Seeing we didn't get a passenger seat for the car, I've doubled the, the weight of the driver's seat. I think they are pretty similar in weight. But yeah, 175 kilos is um, a fair whack of weight. And that's not calculating the amount of dust I vacuumed out of the rear bar of this thing, that reinforcement bar, that was packed full of dust and dirt. I reckon there's an extra 10 kilos there, but we're not gonna put that on the scales. Um, but I'll tell you what, the old vacuum cleaner was a lot heavier after I did that. So yeah, and we've still got some stuff to come out. We've still got the sound deadening to come out. We've got the sway bars to come out. They were all eight, weigh something, but we will throw the weights for those in later in a future episode and we still have some stuff to pull out under the dash like i want to lose the heater and all that sort of stuff but you know what i think we've done enough this episode we put a lot of weight out of it and um yeah this thing should go well straight up it should be at least three tenths faster because every 50 kilos is a tenth of a second so to be honest it's three and a half tenths so straight up three and a half tenths faster um, obviously we're going to go a lot faster. I already have a turbo for it. I already have some performance parts for it. We're going to put all those in in a future episode. So stay tuned and see it all happen. In fact, for a, just those people that have stuck around, we're going to fire it up and see what it sounds like with no exhaust. Pre-prime the, uh, the filter. I have bought a new fuel filter for it. We will get that in next episode. All right, let's fire her up. Not too bad. Just whack it in park because it needs that. Okay. That's not too bad. Sounds better than a barra. Anyway. I think that's enough for this episode. Come back and join us next time for more twirls for 2K action. Yeah, this thing's gonna go all right. We'll see you then.